What's up guys, welcome to your 20... Messed that up already, 31st tutorial. Oh boy, if I'm messing up already, you guys are in store for a horrible tutorial. But anyways, welcome to your 31st tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be building a picker from scratch. Now, if you're saying, alright, isn't that what we did last time? No, we built a pre-made date picker. And you know, that was fun at all, but it really didn't teach us too much. What we want to learn to be able to do is create our own custom picker from scratch so let's go ahead and well let's go ahead and just jump right into it so the first thing that we're going to need to implement is some protocols and the first protocol is UI picker delegate oh, right there and the another the another another picker we're going to need to implement is UI UI picker view data source just like that and all right, we're good to go. So what these protocols are going to do is we're going to need to take some built-in methods that's in these protocols, and they're pretty much going to be responsible for storing our data for the picker. So instead of a bunch of dates that are already in there, we're going to be giving it a bunch of data ourselves. What data? Well, anything we want. You can be given types of food, um, numbers, your favorite, your list of ex-girlfriends. It really doesn't matter. Anything you want. So now... Uh, once you're done with that, we need to go ahead and make a picker object. So UI picker view, and just name this like single picker. And this is pretty much going to represent your picker itself. And NS array, and then just name this like picker array. So this picker array is going to hold a bunch of strings and it's pretty much going to hold like a bunch of names and each name is going to show up as an item on the picker array so after that let's go ahead and put property and non-atomic retain ib outlet and go ahead and copy this single pecker and now let's just go ahead and copy all this copy and I actually didn't type that paste and check this out you don't want an outlet for your array just go ahead and put NS array and paste and of course we need one more method and that's remember whenever you press um, a button on the screen there we go I can't talk and type at the same time whenever you press a button on the screen then an alert box is going to pop up so that's what this method is for so now that we made an outlet for the picker and we also put a setter and getter methods for the array and also uh... put an action for whenever we press the button let's go ahead and build this just see if we forgot any semicolons or anything nope so now that we have that interface file built let's go ahead and hop into single pecker to xib and we can go ahead and start building the view for whenever we click that second tab in our main program this is the view that's going to show up so from here what we want to do is the very first thing is go ahead and click your view icon and attributes and for the bottom bar go ahead and select tab bar and now you see we get a simulated tab bar that pops up so after this let's go ahead and drag a picker view and that's this thing right here picker view make sure you don't get the date picker picker view and drag it over to your main view make sure it fits in nice and snug just like that so now we have a picker don't worry about the data this is just a uh, dummy data that they just fill in just show you guys what it look like but anyways what we need to do now is hook up our outlet from the files owner so go ahead and control drag from files owner down your picker and so now whenever we uh, type single picker in our code this is the picker that it represents so now what we need to do now is check this out in our pickers go over to your connections and you see two outlets a data source and a delegate so look at this this picker has data that's in there by default but we want to give it our own data of course I mean why would you want to use a picker that only had you know the names of cities in California it looks like by default so what we want to do is say alright our class our files owner that's where we're going to be storing the data even though we didn't type it in yet trust me guys I'm going to type it in later so in order to tell our program this is the class that's going to hold the data go ahead and in your outlet drag this over to files owner and just release and now drag this delegate over to files owner and just release 
So pretty much the data source and delegate are going to work together to access the data from this class and put that data in the picker and that's what we're pretty much saying. We're saying this class has the data for this picker. Easy enough. So now all we need to do is go ahead and drag a button down, uh, make a title like press me ho. You know our titles are getting more and more violent and I plan on doing that because you know sometimes uh, people just need to be demanded to do things. So the last thing we need to do is hook up this uh, button to the action. So of course select the button and then go up touch up inside over here and in files owner what action? Press button action. Simple enough. So now that's all we need to do for this tutorial so make sure please save your file interface builder quit interface builder and now in the next tutorial we're going to be hopping into a single pecker dot m and implementing all of our well we're pretty much going to be learning the meat and bones of the tutorial so uh, that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial thank you for watching if you have any questions click on the link below don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later